Well, we knew it was coming. They finally come for Cleveland. No, 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 no! Doggone it! That's it! No more! I'm tired of being kicked around by this world! And I have some mixed feelings about this one. Hello, everyone! I am still... Mecha Random 42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. Huge Family Guy fan. Actually, I was a fan of it before it got canceled the first time. I know. How many times has it been canceled over the years? Might be time. It just might be time to let the show go, especially since the kind of decline in entertainment and quality. Family Guy's really resorted to a lot of, hey, remember when? And, you know, oh, I'm saying the joke because this and this is why it's funny sort of humor. It kind of lost a lot of its edge. And in today's society, when we can't have anything, we knew this was coming. Mike Henry, the voice of Cleveland Brown himself, is deciding to step down after playing Cleveland Brown for how many years? 20 years now. It's been an honor to play Cleveland on Family Guy for 20 years. I love this character, but persons of color should play characters of color. Therefore, I will be stepping down from the role. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You, you know what, Mike Henry? No, no, because it's an animated character. It is something that you guys were writing. Weren't you a writer and a producer on this show? And of course, I did reply to this tweet here with the same thing I've been using for this current generation of cancel culture sheep. What do you want? When you want it? I used the most appropriate picture that I could think of. And I said, of course, this is called acting. He's not a real person. He's animated. What's next? Are they going to cancel Seth MacFarlane because he's not a dog? Stop the presses. I gotta add this in here. This is my whole point that I was getting to. This whole double standard of I do not want any of these amazing voice actors. Look at this. D James Earl Jones. Darth freaking Vader. He made Darth Vader. For crying out loud. And we all know what Anakin looks like under the helmet. We all know he's a little, little soft little Anakin. Oh, C C Cree Summer. Absolutely love, love Cree Summer. She voiced Penny Elmira. She is one of my inspirations as far as when I wanted to do voice acting and I found out that I don't have any talent or actual ambition or drive. Phil Lamar. How ca I can't forget Phil, Phil Lamar. No, nope, can't forget Phil Lamar. He voices everybody from Samurai Jack to. Oh, holy crap. You can't cannot be serious about this whole only people of a certain ethnicity can voice certain characters because if we start going on that route I don't want these voice actors to be canceled any more than I would want Mike Henry to feel the need that he has to step down see and th this is the point this is a problem I had here it's called acting. He's not a real person. He's animated. What's next? I think I cancel Seth MacFarlane because he's not a dog. And I only use that as an example because everybody else had all the better examples. And I said, also, before you respond to me, where do I say he's being forced? Well, the fact that so many people decided to slam me on my inbox, calling me out, calling me every day my mother's son again, just says to me, yeah, it feels like some voice actors of some ethnic backgrounds are feeling the need like they have to step down because for whatever reason, is this for social justice? Is this to virtue signal? Hey, maybe it's just time for this cartoon character to retire at this point. You know, and I know Mike Henry said, only persons of color should be like characters of color. But where does this stop? I mean, are you going to cancel Phil Lamar for playing Samurai Jack? Are you going to cancel James Earl Jones for playing Darth Vader? I do not want these actors to step down. I am okay with these actors playing these characters because they're freaking talented. They're great at these things. And of course, the biggest issue I have right now is with Family Guy in general for not being very funny anymore. Is it just time for Family Guy to retire? Because it is a product of its time. The times have changed. 
Okay, I guess we should get a real Jewish guy to play more, a real fat guy to voice Peter, a disabled person to voice Joe, and a dog to voice, voice Brian. Oh, an American dad needs to find an actual gray alien to voice Roger. And then cancel everything because it's problematic. You, you know, no, we're going to zoom in on that one. Problematic. I'm tired of this. Yes, it's a cartoon. Family Guy has far more offensive things in it. You know what? Guess what? Seth MacFarlane and Alex Borstein are not married in real life and they're playing husband and wife. I know. Shocker, right? And I get it. You can't actually have a talking dog voice a dog, but you can have a fat guy with balls on his chin voice Peter Griffin. But you know what? He's too busy making current Doctor Who terrible for everybody and nobody's liking that one except people who really, really go along with whatever the BBC tell them. So, you know, if you really want Chris Chimbals to be voicing Peter Griffin, sure, he doesn't sound like him. It's not going to be the same. This is why it's called acting. This is why you created a character that doesn't exist in a world that doesn't exist and... When does this stop? Where does this stop? That is not going to be the case of them going after Seth MacFarlane here to replace the role of Peter Griffin with somebody who actually looks like him. That's not going to be what the issue is. That's not going to be what anybody's end goal is. That's not the case here. And we know it. We know why they're doing this. We know what the issue is. We know where the double standard stops. No, where does this stop? Oh, it stops here. It just stops with people who look like that's where it stops. That's the end game of this. Is this just another way of ushering in the cancellation of shows that probably should have gone off the air years and years ago? That is what would be a little bit more appropriate, I think, in this day and age for a lot of these shows to kind of just say, you know what, we've been on for 20 years. Times have changed. Society has changed. All of these shows that are trying to do the exact same old, same old, same old. We've never had that before. We've never had the precedent where these shows outlast everything. Wouldn't it be more prudent and appropriate just to cancel the shows, just to kind of focus on new things? We don't need these shows to continue throughout history, especially if we're going to have this little double standard where they just want to get rid of one certain, certain ethnicity of voice acting from these sort of shows. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am MechaRandom42 and I will probably get my ass thrown off of YouTube for this one. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.